my pranams to all atma jyotis i welcome all of you for today's session of flowering of bliss atma darshan program is journey of self discovery to discover who am i today we are going to discover i am not the body oh my god i am not the body <laughs> all of us are fond of our body right the muscular body handsome person beautiful girl okay young man so all there are many ways of describing the body and we feel proud about our body but good news is we are not the body then who am i so ramana maharshi says bhagwan ramana maharshi says you are not the body you are the self atma which does not move but the world moves in you you are only what you are i think i am the body but i am not the body <laughs> there's a gap between what i think i am and what i really i am who am i i am not the body i am the self what type of self is that tattvamasi you are that so says chandogya upanishad of holy samaveda you are the god self brahmatman your self is god this is the teaching of upanishad this is the teaching of sri ramana maharshi nanu nanembodu nanalla ideha mana buddhi nanalla sachidanandatma shivanannane shivoham 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 i'm not the body i'm not the mind i'm not the intellect i'm pure consciousness shiva so let us understand why is that so the body is continuously changing from birth to death a boy has a small 1 feet half a feet body grows up becomes old but has anything happened to your eye i was born i grew up i went to school i grew up i got married i am becoming old have you noticed one thing the eye has not changed the body has changed so are you the body am i the body the i which i am referring myself is unchanging scientists and doctors tell that your body is continuously changing every part of your body is changing your eyes your liver your heart your lungs your kidney your hair your skin is changing everything and many parts of the body are getting replaced year after year your body is getting refurbished but what happened to our eye what i say i i am nothing has happened to that it is not change at all i am doesn't change but body changes then who am i so your body looks very different to very different different people see how the body looks to the doctor <laughs> the blood vessels bones this is what doctor sees as your body you may think your body is handsome or beautiful but ultimately doctor see this much only what you see and what you think your body is different from what you are really and a chemist will look at your body like this what is the percent of oxygen what is the percent of carbon what is the percent of chlorine what is the percent of sodium you are like a chemical composition matter but are you the matter am i the matter 
I am consciousness, which is using the matter, using the body. I am eliminating the body. So I'm not the body, a chemical bag of chemical compounds, chemistry. People take river bath in a river, holy river, holy bath. There's a question. How many take times you can take a bath in a river? You cannot take a bath in a river even once, my dear. Why? What is river? Nothing but river is nothing but flowing water. And what is your body? Is constantly changing. How can you take a bath in the river? The moment you put your leg, the river is water has flown. The leg has changed. The moment you the moment you start dipping into the river, your body has changed. River has water has changed. Then how can you take a bath in a river even at least once? So constantly changing river, constantly changing body is the nature of reality. Nature of myself. Body is changing constantly. Then how can I be body? Constantly changing thing. I cannot be because I never change. I am never changes. For a scientist, for an atomic physicist, your body looks like a full of atoms and molecules. You think you are smart, you think beautiful, handsome, that's for yourself. That's what you think you are. For a chemist, it's a chemical composition. For a doctor, it's blood and blown. For a scientist, it's a molecules. Then what are you? What am I? Yogic view of body is very different. Yogic view of body is your consciousness. Your body has chakras, energy channels. Energy keeps on flowing. And the I never changes. Who is that unchanging I? I am. This Vedantic view of body. Your body is five layers called pancha koshas. The physical body, annamaya kosha. The mental uh, energy body, pranamaya kosha. Mental body, manomaya kosha. And uh, intellectual body, vidnanamaya kosha. And blissful body, anandamaya kosha. Five layers are there. And Vedanta looks at your body in three ways. The gross body, subtle body, and causal body. Which body you are speaking of? I am the body. So many bodies I have spoken of. Chemical body, biological body, <laughs> then uh, yogic body, then uh, Vedantic body. Which body is I am? And body from birth to death changing. Who am I? And then you have a dream body also. In dream you have another body. Okay. One dream, one day, one dream, one body. Another day, another, another body. Dream body also is there. Which body are we? I never change. Bodies keep on changing. Who am I? Then there's a teaching in the uh, uh, Upanishads, Vedanta. You are again and again taking newer and newer bodies. Punarapi Jananam, Punarapi Maranam, Punarapi Janani Generation. Again and again we take birth, reincarnate. So many bodies. Millions and trillions of bodies. Which body I am? When you say I am the body, which body we are speaking of? We have taken many, many bodies. Every day my body keeps on changing. Every minute body is changing. How can I be changing body? I am the changeless spirit, the consciousness. So you can look at the sky. Sky, the clouds are changing pattern. And each pattern looks different. One pattern looks like an elephant, other pattern looks like a tiger, but the moment will pass on, change. It's an energy pattern. Constantly changing energy pattern has no reality or no object. There's nothing called elephant or tiger there. It's just appearance. Similarly, constantly changing body 
has no reality. It just an appearance, energy pattern. One snapshot of that, we think uh, my body, I am the body, is false. We have heard the story of Buddha, the Siddhartha. When he goes on tour, he sees an old man, and he sees one sick man, and he sees one dying man, and he sees a monk. Then he questions, what is this human life all about? Our body constantly undergo changes. Then Siddhartha decided, I want to find a solution. This changing body is a perpetual problem. Changing human life, the human life is full of suffering. I have to find a solution. Then he went on journey of self-discovery or nirvana. It is one true that I have a body, but I am not the body. We have to distinguish between what I have and what I am. This is laptop. This is my laptop. When I say my laptop, I am separate and laptop is separate. So whatever I call my separates me from real I. This is my mobile. That means I am not mobile. Then when I say my body, obviously it means I am not the body. <laughs> my body means I am not the body. You are making a statement. But whatever happens to the body, we start crying. Oh, I am becoming old. Okay. I am suffering. I am pain. Okay. All those things we keep on telling, superimposing on the body. What, on, body, what has happened to the body? We superimpose on ourselves. We are confusing body with what I am. In fact, what I am is different from what I have. I have a body. Bhagavan Ramana Marshi had a cancer, very painful. The students ask Maharshi, is it very painful? Bhagavan Ramana Marshi says, yes, body is in pain. Very simple statement, very profound statement. I am not the body, I am not in pain. Body is in pain. But, we confuse whatever happened to the, happening to the body as myself. That's a mixing up. What I am and what I have, we are mixing up. That will be very clear. I have a body, but I am not the body. Who am I? I am infinite God Self, Brahmatman. Light of Self Foundation, Atma Jyoti Satsang. Is 25 year old organization. Atma, as a part of the foundation, Atma Jyoti Vishu Gurukulam offers a variety of programs for discovery of self. Many volunteers of the Light Astral Foundation work selflessly for self realization, spreading light of love, wisdom, and happiness. We are 25 year old organization. Recognized by Karnataka Sanskrit University. You are welcome to join. Join us. Light Asal Foundation's website and YouTube channel. You can subscribe to YouTube channel. You can give likes. And you can also explore the courses available and Light Asal Foundation. Namaste.